Hi, today we shall learn about matrix. Matrices are one of the most powerful mathematical tools available to simplify many problems in a lot of the other branches of mathematics. Before we learn how to use matrices to solve problems, we need to learn how to describe matrices. Now here we have three matrices. So what is a matrix? The first look, it is an arrangement or array of numbers or algebraic expressions arranged in rows or columns. Typically, a matrix is represented in capital letter. So here we have A, B and C capital letters as the representation for each of the three matrices that's given. Now let's take a closer look at these matrices and see how we can describe them. Let's take a closer look at A. A is a matrix which has, if you see this, 2, 6.2 and 8 is a column and 2, 3.5 and minus 4 is a row. This matrix has numbers arranged in rows and columns and when we count, we can count the number of rows and columns that we have. So we have one, two, three rows and one, two and three columns. So this matrix A, matrix A has three rows and three columns. Hence, this matrix would be described as a matrix of order three by three. Now let's take a look at matrix B. Matrix B, unlike matrix A, has three columns, one, two, and three, but it has only one row. So this matrix would be described as a matrix of order one by three. So let's take one more example. Matrix C has only one column but has three rows one two and three this would be called a matrix of order three by one so the logic is if we are given a matrix m by n order then that matrix has m rows and n columns so the first digit refers to number of rows and the second digit n refers to number of columns okay so a matrix is always described by the number of rows and number of columns okay this is the most rudimentary way of describing a matrix we will only be dealing with matrices of real values so even if a matrix if you look at these values that each of the elements take in the given three matrices matrix a has all real numbers so this is a real matrix Matrix B has A, B and C, three variables where all three variables are real, though it's not mentioned here. Typically, they will all have real values. Matrix C has elements and each one of them will again be a real value. So what is an element? If you see, X minus 1 is an element. A is an element, right? 8 is an element in matrix A. Now, how do I describe or call out a single element of a given matrix? And we also need to know how to represent a single element, particular element in each of the matrices. The convention followed in mathematics is if A is a matrix, elements are denoted by the smaller letter of the corresponding small letter of the matrix name. Right. So since A is a matrix, so the corresponding smaller letter, which is a small letter A, would represent an element in matrix A. Then the position of the element is represented by two integers, i and j, where i represents the row in which the element is present and j is the column. So let's take an example. 1, 3 would be first row and third column of matrix A which is nothing but minus 4. 
let us take another example here let's take b1 and 3 b13 would be first row third column which is c let's practice once more in this case c21 would be x plus 1 now let me ask you a question what would be c12 this is not defined because this matrix C does not have column number 2 hence it cannot have C12 as an element so now in this video we have learned to describe a matrix by its order which is the number of rows by number of columns and also identify an element in each matrix by referring to the element by using the smaller letter of the corresponding matrix and i and j which would then give the position of the element within that matrix so i gives the row number and j gives the column number in the next video we shall learn about how to determine if two matrices are equal so keep watching and subscribe to math